Hey y'all, it's Michael! Hello! I am recording this. Okay, first off, it's in the morning. Just mind all the birds, they are just going off right now. But I'm recording this on May 1st, and May uh, is actually Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Yay! And in case you don't know, I am Asian. I'm from the- my family's from the Philippines. You know what? I will do an actual TBR and I will film video. <laughs> I have- I know for the past few videos I've been like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Here I go. Y'all, it's been- it's been rough, okay? Yeah, it's been rough with the videos and um, the filming for the past few months. Actually, the, yeah, for the past few months. Um, so this video will be like a TBR slash vlog. Um, just because I'm off today, so I thought I would go downtown. So the books that I chose, basically there's so many readathons in May. Like when I tell you there's so many readathons, there's a lot of readathons. Like I mean a lot um, going on. And I'm super excited for it. I'm gonna try to um, join in as much as I can. So the books that I picked, half of these are from my personal library. And then um, this morning I'm gonna go to the uh, the main library and I'm gonna go 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 browse now did I already pick out some books earlier this week yes but don't judge me okay go going back um I also want to say that like, it is one of those things where what's happening externally is really affecting me creatively so I'm hoping to get I'm really trying and really hoping to get back to where I upload regularly film regularly because it really it's really creative for me um and I feel like I, I, I miss it. I, I, re I really do miss it. A lot of these you've already seen on my channel because I've been meaning to get to them for quite a while. The first one. Um, Nor Nor Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. Um, this tr edition is translated by Jay Rubin. I do like Jane Rubin's um, translation of Murakami's. So I think I will enjoy this. Uh, Translation-wise, um, it's Murakami per predominant Japanese writer. So I was like... The next book that I'm going to, wanting to read is The God of Small Things by Ar Aranda Tai Aranda Tai to Aranda T Aranda T Roy Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm making sure my, my camera's not overheating I'm hoping to get back to it uh, This one, The Man Booker, a while back I believe Alright, another one is The White Tiger by Aranvita Aravi Aravind Adiga. This has been made into a Netflix movie. I've heard mixed things about it, but I'm gonna watch it um, regardless after this. Uh, yeah, so I think this was originally trans it, written in English. So yeah, there's that. And then the last one that I actually started last night because I was like, let me just get through the prologue at least. Is this Nolan Mitangre by um, Jose Rizal. Uh, this is a per per really important um, book in not only in the Philippines, but just in Filipino culture in general. This is the book that um, is claimed to be, have started the Philippine Revolution, and it's very important. So, yay! Uh, so far, I mean, I just started, I have nothing to say about it, um, but yeah, there's that. So, yeah, um, there's so many readathons going on this month, but I'll link them all down below. There's so many. There's like a BTS one going on. There's like a the Asian readathon, obviously. There's also Doris's Springathon, which is like reading nonfiction. Um, nature books, so I'm gonna go to the library and I'm gonna try to find one. So, yeah, okay. My camera's overheating. I already had to start this over again. I'm running out of memory on my card. Okay, I'm about to go. <laughs> Alright, what's my hair doing? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the library now. The libraries. Oh, and also, let me just say this. Um, I just realized that today on the first day of Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month, that Itzy, one of my one of my favorite uh, K-pop groups, just released a song, and I was just standing. I said, "Y'all don't miss," because I swear I like every one of their songs. I was like, "Oh, y'all are killing it!" So yeah, that made me really excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. Can't see me, but we're here at the library. There it is, y'all. This is the. I found out um, that this is like the best time to come in here because on Saturday mornings, because there ain't nobody here. There's not really anyone here at the parking lot yet. All right, y'all. I got, I got the goods right here, right here. Look, 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 look. look. Oh, okay. I'll show y'all. I'll show you what I got when I, uh, when I 
get home later. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to the market now. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes. And you can tell me all of your lies. Oh, look who it is. Ow! Wow, your blue dress! Yeah, from the line cannibal. What? I just don't fit it. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at those sunglasses! He's eating her oh glasses. Thank you, Gabby. Um, she's eating sunglasses, <laughs> she's eating something, and you're eating what? Pizza? This is for Serena Like, what you eating, girl? <gasps> Some crackles! You better eat them crackles! Hmm? So I'm home now. Um, I'm just gonna sit here in the front yard. It's really nice out today. Oh, maybe I should get the picnic blanket. I think I might get the picnic blanket and lay out and read it. Uh, but right now, I am eating this uh, creme brulee. The, the crust, though, went away. <laughs> the crust fell away. But this is delicious. It's so, it's so delicious. This is delicious. I'm just going to chill and relax and keep on reading. Um, what page am I on? I'm not that far. But you know, I'm... I have thoughts on this already. I'm only on page um I'm on page fifty two and I already have um thoughts about it, but I wanna get more into it before I have final thoughts. And this is this book is long too. Now I'm looking at it. But yeah. It's just gonna sit here and relax. It's really nice. I can carry all that you've got to every heart is not a lie. I will put out a lot of the fire. So let me finish uh, this last part and tell you the books that I got from uh, the library. In regards to Springathon, this is started by Doris and it was it's essentially created to um, more, put more emphasis on reading about um, nature nonfiction. Um, and I really like that because I like nature and I like nonfiction. So I picked out two books. The first one, um, and they, they have themes and like prompts and whatnot, um, but I can, I'll see how I can loosely um, add that when I finish the books. So the first one that I got, I had two choices. Basically, since Spice Library uses the Dewey Decimal System, I looked at the numbers and I was like, okay, so I just went there, went to nature, and then I just started looking at the books. So the first one is Underland by Robert McFarlane. Um, apparently this is a, like, about, like, the under, like, the ground right now, the, what's, what's happening underground, I guess. So it seems really interesting. The other one is... The Beekeeper, Rescuing the Stolen Women of Iraq by Dunya Mikhail. Let me see if this is translated. Translated from the um, Arabic by Dunya Mikhail and Max Weiss. I picked this because it um, accomplishes one of the prompts, which is like buzz or bee or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, wait, Mikhail, like Iraq. I was like, oh my God. Killing two birds with one stone. And it'll also apply for um, Asian Pacific Islander heritage. But I Sold. I'm super excited because I love bees. Like I, I'm really fascinated by bees. I really like them, and I love like honey. I love honey. I'm sorry to my vegan uh, viewers, but I love honey. Eating it, but also like that honey mask from my skincare. Oh my god, I love that so much. So yeah, those are the two books that I um, picked up for the uh, spring and thought. These are the last books that I got for um, Asian Pacific Island Heritage Month. All right, all right. The first one is. The Silence of Bones by June Her. Um, I did see this going around. Now, it was weird because um, I did not know that this is YA because it was in the YA section of um, of my library. So I was like, oh, okay. So we'll see how it goes. Apparently it's a thriller, so we'll see. All right, the next one is The 30 Names of Night by Zian Jokadar. Um, I don't know that much about this, but I saw this, I picked this because it says that Jokadar is the author of the map of salt and stars and for some odd it was one of those moments where I was like that sounds familiar so this is why I picked that up we'll see how it goes all right the next one that I pick is a um is a mongos yeah yeah so this is called Venus in the blind spot by Jonja Ito this is um 
this looks like to be short stories but in a manga form the reason why i picked this is because this has one of my favorite favorite short story ever and it is i saw it on here it's the human chair which if you have never read the human chair by edagawa rampo it is one of the best short stories I've ever read. It's like one of my fa personal favorites. And when I tell you it shook me to the core, I mean, it shook me. It was so good. And the twist, I said, oh, it's really good. I like it. Oh my God, y'all, my hair, what's going on? The last book that I picked, this is the book that I, when I said I want to get to, like I want to get to, this is the one that I, it's so buzzy. I really want to read it. It is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I want to read this so badly like this I'm really hyped up about this because it is supposed to be like one of the best fantasy like for the past few years like I'm super excited to read this and I'm excited so yay there's all right those are the books that I um picked up it was a really nice um day today it was very relaxing as you can tell all I did basically was read and after um eat after I eat tonight and do my skincare I'm just gonna go read and I'm hoping that everything will fall into place and we'll get back to the usual. So yes, until then, I'll see you guys till next time. Bye. Oh, and if you're participating, let me know. I've been watching so, so, so many <laughs> Asian readathon um, TBRs. I just, I can get enough.